I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where. Yo, what is everybody? Special News here, back in the video, guys, with NBA 2K19 really blowing video. And today, we're gonna be taking on the uh, brand new match with Markel Fultz. See if he's not gonna be bust, he is going to be the centerpiece of this rebuild. So, yeah, we got some nice cap room in the offseason. Uh, we do have some bad contracts on this team, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get rid of those um yeah there's gonna be some weird trades in here as well so just so you know uh, i was thinking of they making this a my league so i was kind of leaning towards that but then i'm like i changed after i did some trades I'm like well you know what i might as well just make it a rebuild so uh, just a heads up for that so i did get some players that i was thinking that would i would like to play with so we got rid of mozgov here we trade into the phoenix sun so they can stretch them do whatever they want to do anyway uh this is a trade i really should have done i don't know what i was thinking i just didn't do it i'm like well i don't really do i really want to play rudy gobert no that's that's a good that, that, I get go bear a lot, but that's a great trade because an expiring deal for Rudy Gobert with for another couple years. Um, yes, I should I should have done that. I should have done that. We even got Nick Young on the team we needed him. So uh, here's the rotation. And Fultz is tired. I don't know what your problem is, Fultz. But Fournier, we're gonna see how he performs. I don't know if he's gonna stay around because I really don't want to pay him twenty million dollars a uh, year. Jonathan Isaac, we'll see how he progresses. You know, seventy five overall. Aaron Gordon, same with him. Uh, these guys are Mo Bamba. He was also he's also a centerpiece of this rebuild. So those guys are those guys are not going anywhere. Fultz and Bamba. Those guys are not going anywhere at all. So other players are very much subject to change. So we'll see how it all works out uh, after this season. But this is kind of just the rotations and stuff that's going on right now. Um, I did I did start at the very beginning of the season instead of start today. So just because like I said, I was thinking of making it my league, but. Here is going to be another trade that I probably could have done. And by the way, this would have maybe even been smart because I don't get Capella very often. Uh, they were giving us a first round pick too. And look at that. That's only like $15 million a deal. That is a great, great deal. So we're going to go actually ahead and re-sign DJ Augustine for a couple years. Uh, Evan Fournier is hurt. I did not turn off injuries. I still have chemistry on, so uh, very sorry about that. I'm, like I said, um... Yeah, anyway, this deal for Nurkic, though, I like it a lot. I don't know why. I'm not sure if I did this one or not. Let's see. Uh, I mean, he's got that $11 million, $12 million, $12 million. I mean, I don't really need his hands. We do have Bamba. Um, you know, there's some other interesting deals. Devin Booker would be really nice, but then his huge contract kicks in. Um, and he's been locked in for a while. Of course, Drummond's out there. Uh, Miles Turner, uh, interesting trade. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, Carmelo Anthony, no thank you. Brandon Ingram. This is who I wanted to get. I really wanted to get Brandon Ingram. I just didn't want to give up Frazier. So after a while, um, you're going to see me try to trade for him. Because I just I wanted to play with Brandon Ingram. I want to see him uh, thrive. He's, you know, I like I like Ingram a lot. So this Gobert trade, another Gobert trade I should have done. They have out of bios out there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to trade for Brandon Ingram. I made the decision uh, to go for Ingram. I wanted, to, like I said before, I wanted to see him thrive, and I, I'm repeating myself a lot in this video. This is not good. But, um, yeah, so I was working on this trade for a long, long time trying to get him on this team, and they just would not budge. I don't understand. Like, you have LeBron James, you have Kuzma, and I'm giving you a center that you desperately, well, not, not desperately, but they do, um, you know, they have a center who can stretch the floor, Vooch. Um, that's not a bad option. Um, you know, I think DeMarcus Cousins would be a great fit for this team, but Vooch would be, you know, and maybe a solid second option to DeMarcus Cousins if they want to go after him realistically in free, excuse me, free, uh, free agency. Because Vooch is a very, a very solid player. Uh, I'm throwing in Nick Young, and they just, <laughs> they just didn't want to budge. I gave him a first, a few seconds, probably gonna have to give him, uh, all that. So we didn't, um, we just got rid of a player there, and we were able to do the trade. So Terrence Ross, we're gonna go ahead and re-sign him for a couple years. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to move this guy for a pick. We do just that. And at the end of the season, DeAndre Ayton, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, uh, was what? Avonis, excuse me. Valanciunas wins uh, most improved. And, um, yeah, so here's the all-NBA teams. Chris Stops on that team, of course. Uh, doesn't have the injury. And uh, Westbrook, all-defensive first team. Luka Donich on all the all-rookie team. Obama does make it as well. That's nice to see. Uh, a lot of times he's good that, he gets that all-rookie second team. Bagley gets the second team. Um, kind of think he'd be a first team. But he's, he's actually coming off the bench, too. I don't know why the Kings are putting him off the bench. Uh, he's a, you know, I think he's going to be a great player. But Kemba Walker actually led the league in scoring. But Aaron Gordon leads us with 19 points. Brandon Ingram actually shot 51% from the field, 37 from deep. Terrence Ross led us with 43% from deep. So not too shabby. Um, you know, Evan Fournier with 12. Did not. I don't really like that. 
uh, falls with four assists, also 11 points. I was hoping he could do a little better than that. Bamba with 10 points. Um, Jefferson, oh yeah, I, I totally forgot. I did trade Vooch, so of course, Bam, Bamba should, um, you know, do do pretty well at the starting center position. Also, Al Jefferson ever getting 10 points. I see you. Big Al, he almost averaged just as many as Mo Bamba did at the starting center. So, uh, sorry for my confusion there. So, actually, points per game, we were third worst. Points allowed, I'm guessing we were somewhere in the middle. And, yeah, we were basically pretty bad 25th actually so not even in the middle but anyway yeah our losses were pretty bad we were the third uh worst team in the league look at this grizzlies team you know valentine i mean i would think this team would not be that bad uh, i mean their yeah their bench is pretty terrible but it's not a terrible team um you know the stars still have conley they got jaron jackson jr developing anyway after these playoffs are you know we're not making a move we're not making a run here for this playoff of course um so yeah, the James Harden, the Rockets win it for some reason. I don't understand why, but they always seem to do. We do have the third best odds. The Celtics have Memphis's pick. Oh my goodness. Uh, actually, no, they do not. So actually, it does become Grizzlies' pick. Um, yeah, so we do actually drop to five, which is unfortunate. But Cam Reddish and RJ Bear are out there still. So we're going to take him actually the sixth pick. And then we also have another pick at 34. So we get both uh, Nas Reed and Cam Reddish. So we're going to keep Ingram here for one more year. We also have a two year team on Jonathan Isaac. We also have Windu uh, as well. We're going to Wesley Windu. We're going to keep him on the team. See if maybe we can, he can develop a little bit. We're going to offer these qualifying offers to all these guys. Uh, probably not the smartest idea though. Uh, Fournier, look at this she's The Knicks want to give Amy a 2020 first round pick. I will gladly take that with only 11 points per game from Fournier. I was hoping for maybe like 15 ish, but we're going to try to bring back Vooch. <laughs> Why not let it fly? Bring back Vooch, baby. baby. Um, see what we can do here. Uh, Julius Randle, an option that I would really want to get on this team. But I'm like, well, I do have Aaron Gordon. So uh, I did actually get Randle and Aaron Gordon in my Knicks, um, Dennis Smith Jr. Knicks rebuild. So. Um, yeah, I guess I, I, I do tend to get a lot of the same players, but you know, there's only so much you can do for rebuilds, but I probably should try to get like different players just to see what they can do. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to offer. Kawhi Leonard actually got out there, surprisingly enough. Um, we did uh, get Vucevic, Randall, and then was it Jimmy Butler as well? So I was trying to figure out a way to maybe get like two of them, but we're going to get Vucevic, and then uh, probably should have probably should have went for Jimmy Butler, but... Because I went, I probably wouldn't trade him. I'm thinking about trading Vooch again. <laughs> if I do get him, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about doing it. We'll see, we'll see. Um, and Marcus Cousins does fit this team very well, so maybe I should go after him as well. Um, there goes. Um, he looks like he's gonna go either to the Lakers or the 76ers. Probably gonna go back to the 76ers. Demarcus Cousins is out there. Mavericks offered him a deal that he likes. Um, they did not. He did not like that one-year deal. So the Knicks actually offered D'Lo a deal. Uh, looks like Julius Randle is going to the Clippers. And I'm just kind of thinking what what might work with this team, like what might work well, could fit well with the players we have in the team. You know, False is obviously the point guard. We can also get another point guard. I uh, wouldn't mind doing that. And False could be like a, um, be like a two or something like this. We do get Jerry Grant. We also get Alfred Camino and Jeff Green. So I'm gonna try to get some more, um, you know, wing players and forward players to see what we can do. Um, I might move Aminu and Jeff Green. We don't have enough to get Jeff Green. So we do have Aminu, who's going to be the backup then, probably. So Kevin Ryan actually comes back out there. We're, third, we're really short on money. I'm not sure why we're that short, but, um, yeah, we really have no money. So Fultz, Augustine, Reddish, Ross, and then Ingram, Isaac, and then, um, yeah, we're going to have Aaron Gordon, Aminu, and then Vooch and Bamba. I expect this team to be decent. Um, you know what? You got some great overall players. So Marcus Cousins goes to the Pacers. Thompson goes to the Lakers. Jimmy back to the 76ers. Hornets goes to Kevin Walker. And Tobias goes to the Nuggets. Wow. Um, interesting. And the, the the Nets did not match the deal for D'Angelo Russell. And he goes to the New York Knicks, interestingly enough. So untapped potential, we're going to go ahead and send that to... Um, Nas Reed's probably not even worth it. Probably gonna send it to Cam Reddish. We're gonna probably go ahead and do that with him and Fultz. Either that or, um, maybe we'll do Jonathan Isaac. I guess I did show it. Okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and sign Dave Nawaba. Um, so we can go ahead and send some people down to the G League, which would be Nas Reed and, um, whoever else that I sent down there. So, um, we have him in the G League. Anyway, Cam Rush is going to be the starting um, starting out there, and then we're also going to have some precision proficiency for Steve Clifford. We kept him around, and we're going to get run pace and space. So back to the coach game plan here. Um, probably going to go. Am I not going to do it? No. 
Okay. <laughs> so there's the staff. Uh, what is looking like we still have? I guess I didn't really touch the staff at all. Um, we do we do still do have champions, but actually, here we go. So 1624. That's the reason why we're here now. 1624, and um, we're gonna look for another head coach. So here's some of the options here. Trent Peterson, we could promote. Um, that's an option, but I'm thinking of getting, you know, a, an established coach. Unfortunately, Dwayne Kaysen's ratings are terrible. Otherwise, I would very much like to get Ty, Ty, Ty Lue would be an option, but I like Tom Thibodeau. I love Tom Thibodeau, but we're going to go ahead and accept Tom Dibbs. Uh, get Dibbs on this team as the head coach. We're going to go ahead and extend, um, was that Terrence Ross? Uh, I, I thought I did earlier, but apparently it didn't work. I don't know. So we're going to try to move Vucevic and see because this just isn't working right now. I don't know. Kemba Walker's out there. Um, I like this deal. Why don't we give up a first round pick? There's Derrick Rose, Dinwiddie, Miles Turner. Blake Griffin. Interesting. We can maybe move him to center. Um, maybe he's still certainly tall enough. And athletic enough. Clint Capella, DeMar DeRozan. Got a lot of the similar, some similar trades last year. But also Devin Booker out there as well. Bradley Beal. That would be a fun trade to do. Uh, we just have to go up Terrence Ross. We do have Cam Reddish there at that two position. So I don't know if we really want to do that. Um, you know, Hassan Whiteside as well. But I think we're going to need to go ahead and do this deal for Kevin Walker. Um, you know, we did not get him in free agency. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and actually trade for him. So uh, we're going to move him to shooting guard to go ahead and do that. And... Um, you know, I, like I said, we do have Cam Reddish there. Uh, I might move him to small forward. We might have to move some players to kind of make this work. And we're going to look to move Terrence Ross. We're going to trade uh, that in a first round, 2024 for first round pick for Montrezl Harrell. I get Harrell a lot, but, you know, I love that contract. So it's a solid player, and he's going to be the backup center. Mo Bama moves back into the starting position. So it's funny for poor Bamba because, you know, he was the bench player. Then he gets the starting position. Then they signed Vooj back. And uh, obviously this is a completely unrealistic rebuild because I don't think that would ever happen. So... Um, most improved player. Brett Brown actually gets coach of the year. Most improved was Michael Border Jr. And of course, you know, the trade deadline's already passed, so it can't happen. But all NBA teams, um, all defensive teams, we actually got, or never mind, Rudy Gobert's not in this rebuild. Um, unfortunately, we did not get Cam Reddish. We did not get him on any of them, um, unfortunately, which I was kind of expecting him to be on at least the second team, but he isn't. So, kind of like average 25. Uh, I'm not sure how much, you know, was for our team, how many he got for our team, but. Folds, let us in uh, assists, and I uh, can take a look at all those numbers you want to see. Team stats, probably can take a look at maybe next. Um, there we go. So we were second worst in scoring and um, not, you know, fifth in points uh, allowed. So not too terrible, but uh, point differential is not too good. So the Rockets go ahead and win it this year as well. Second back to is that back to back? I think. Let me go ahead and see. Was it back to back? Yeah, it was. So, uh, at, this, at this lottery, we, we didn't even have any picks. So, that's unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and fire Tom Thibodeau. I did not like that. 33 and 49. He really almost got us. He got us maybe wait, a couple. I like to get D-Way, but his ratings aren't that good. Um, he got for 33. Uh, we had 16 wins. So, that's what? Uh, 17 wins. So, did not really like that, you know, it's just it's one game upgrade over what we had. So we're going to, unfortunately, I like Fibs, but we're going to have to get rid of him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a new GM. We're going to offer, uh, we're also going to get Navarro, and we're going to get Jacob Underwood as our coach. And we got the trainer. So this is the, what the, um, the, uh, you know, training, the staff is looking like. We, no, we do have the seventh pick. I don't know what I was saying. So we do have the seventh pick. We're going to see if we can maybe move it. The sound white side is out there. We don't really need a center anymore. Um... But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and probably take Scotty Lewis, maybe, or Precious, um, or Killian Hayes, and I get Killian Hayes. I got, that's actually back to back rebels like I am. And Precious um, is out there again, and we're gonna take him at 20th, 20 overall. So <laughs> as back to back rebels, I got the exact same players. That's 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 some cheese. And I got this guy from Spain, um, overseas player, I think. So we won't have to sign until next year. Um, yeah, Ricky's signing. We're gonna get all these guys, and yeah, he's gonna not, he's not a cap hold. So we're gonna go ahead and accept all these options. I might look might look to move Isaac this year because our offense needs help. Mary Ingram, I'm gonna re-sign him. I may look to move him. Um, Anthony Davis is actually out here. That's kind of a rare sighting. We're gonna give an offer to Joe Harris. We need some shooting. So we're gonna see what we can do. Brandon Ingram is about to accept an offer from the Hawks. Jerry Grant's out there. Montrose Harrell we have to offer him. So we're gonna be big time in the hole <laughs> for money so that's gonna kind of hurt us i don't know how, what, what to do with these things where our scoring is terrible uh, i don't know if it's i think it might be the bench 
because they can't do a whole lot. We're going to look to move DJ Augustine. I only want that $3 million contract. We don't really need him. Uh, we're going to go ahead and trade that because we did get Jerry and Grant back. So I'm looking to move Frazier, Isaac, and Aminu. Possibly Val Junis is out there. Also Austin Rivers, Bobby Portis. Um, nothing I'm really that you know stands out that I really like. Uh, maybe we can move Montrez here for 16 million a year, but we're gonna go ahead and try to get Vucevic back. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's on the Charlotte Hornets, and you know what? We are gonna get Vooch back. We're trying to get him with um, Montrez Harrell. Uh, we actually never mind. We didn't get it back. We tried. Now we're trying for Demarcus Cousins. I'm looking for a you know scoring center. Maybe maybe Obama isn't the move right now. Trying to move for Aaron Gordon. Um, maybe we can move him. Um, cause you know, Aaron Gordon just doesn't score that well in this game. I mean, he does, he gets, you know, 18, I think 15. So, um, but we're trying for all the top centers in the league and <laughs> none of them seem to really work. Um, you know, trying for Anthony Davis, all these guys, of course, if it's not going to work on somebody like uh, 90 overall players, not going to work on 97, but, uh, we're going to go ahead and maybe look for maybe I, I could go white side or I could go, go bear. But I do get him a lot, and we're actually going to go ahead and get Gobert. So this team actually looks pretty similar to that Knicks team from the last rebuild. So I apologize for that. We're moving Mo Bamba to the floor. I could have got Vooch back, but you know what? No, we're getting Gobert because I always seem to get Gobert. Uh, Mo Bamba is, the, is this is some cheese. Seven one players playing power forward. So for training camps, we're going to go ahead and send. Um, I think we send Fultz and a Reddish now. Um, oh, never mind. We do have three camps this year, so we first we sent Fultz, now we're probably going to send it to Ingram is my guess. Yeah, we go ahead and send Ingram to a camp, and then our last camp will be to Fultz. Let's see, or Harrell. My guess is Fultz, or we go Montrose Harrell. Okay, so we got Fultz, Hayes, and we got Ingram, Joe Harris, we got this guy, Precious. Um, Unfortunately, you know, these belt pass rebuilds he has not played. Uh, we also have Montrose Harris back up center. You know, Gobert, Mobama 7 1 playing power four. That is some cheese, baby. I mean, he can shoot too, so he's not, you know, we can stretch the floor a little bit. We got Joe Harris off the bench, so we got some scoring on the bench here. Uh, Cam Reddish is going to be the backup two with um, Kemba Walker starting at the two. So I'm hoping Fultz can distribute. Like, he doesn't need to be a scorer as an 85 overall. He's kind of developed pretty decently. Ingram's gone up to 87, so has Bamba. Um,. I'm hoping it'll be that distributed. But anyway, Giannis wins MVP at this um, whatever year. So we go 49 and 33. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a better record, regular season record. But you know what? That works as well. James Wiseman, rookie of the year. Interesting. Uh, Trey Young, sixth man of the year. I still don't know how that works. Uh, Billy Donovan, coach of the year, 65 and 17. And uh, all the rookie, all these teams here. Our rookie first team did not get anybody on these teams. I don't think. All right, Brooklyn. That's DeAndre Hunter. Yeah, we didn't get anybody on there. So. Um, yeah, I'll be a first team. I guess I skipped the second team. Um, but here's the Thunder's roster, just in case you guys were wondering. Uh, a little bit of it anyway. So, Joe Harris, here's the ratings up update. He goes up to a 90, Gobert to a 92. And, um, yeah, my progression sliders, I, I only put it up to 55. 55 and 50 is what I use for my progression. Uh, like, 50 regression and 55 progression. Apparently, that's, like, too much because they, they go up so high. I don't know if that's exactly a good thing, but Ingram still... It's not doing too good. Um, yeah, three point percentage, not the greatest. Joe Harris actually, of course, let us. Uh, well, Jaren Grant did, but I don't think he got a whole lot of minutes. But 43% from Kemba Walker, that's actually pretty decent. He less than scoring. Inger with only 16. So, you know, Kemba Walker, Kem Walker is our number one option. And Montrose Harrell with 15 points. Um, like, Fultz had 14, so, um, you know, rebounds per game. Of course, Gobert and Bomber are going to lose. But here we go. First round taking on the 76ers. And what am I doing here? What am I doing? What am I doing? What is going on here? Oh, participation because it wouldn't let me simulate like the game. So we do lose game to one, one to one. Game three, we go ahead and win that one. Game four, tied at two to two. 76ers giving us a run. We're up three, two. Game seven is on the way. We go ahead and advance to the second round. And uh oh, we're taking on the Atlanta Hawks. You know the Atlanta Hawks are cheese in sim in my league. They have John Morant, so that is. They have Mac McClung. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 2K. They got Kevin Herder. Um, they got Doombia and Tarrant Prince. That's kind of scary. And McKinney, Thaddeus Young, John Collins, and they have Bull Bull. And Larry Nance. That team is scary. If we beat this team, there's no reason why we shouldn't win at all. This team's very good. We're up 2 to 0. 3 0. We go for a sweep. Oh my goodness. We went for a sweep on that insane um, 
Hawks team. So, you know what? I'm happy with that. So, we just swept them. I'm, you know, we should be able to take care. So, of course, the Brooklyn Nets don't have the, the, the excuse me, D'Angelo Russell. Um, they have Kevin Durant, though. So, that's probably why um, they did not get him. Um, they have Jerry Allen, of course. So, this team is actually really well, really nice as well. They're actually a higher seed, of course, because, you know, we're only in the four seed. So we're up 2-1, two 2-2. To two to two. Game 5 is on the way. We're going to go ahead and lose that game 6. It's tied, and we go ahead and win in 7. That's clutch. We're taking on the number 1 seeded OKC Thunder. Uh, should be interesting. Look at this. Our players did not even shoot that well. Monsters here will provide such a scoring boost. So... I forgot to show system proficiency, and now we're actually going to take a look. We're going to leave it on defense. I probably can move it to balance, but we're going to take him on when likes the defense, and we're going to run the defense. So here's, uh, they actually have Wayne Ellington, Diallo, who developed to an 80 overall. Ferguson like, just does not develop in this game. Like, he's a beast in real life now. Um, they got James Wiley, uh, Jeremy Grant is still on the team, so we're actually going to go 1-1-1-2-1-3-1. One, 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 two, two, one, one. We win it in five. Big series. Orlando Magic when it's in what is this 2022 or 2021 uh year number three uh 2021 so yeah year number three um so not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and win the title Kemba walker led us with 20 points Ingram with 15 monster zog is 15 it's awesome some G's. um cam reddish um where did cam get 10 bomba yeah he did get 11 so bomba got 11 joe harris with like nine hayes like at five but uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this rebuild if you did make sure you do go ahead and leave a like on the video we're gonna take a look at the final roster in a minute um but yeah, joe harris 82 overall precious got some minutes as well in this uh you know playoffs so Kim Walker, 93, Gobert, 92. We got a bunch of 90s on this team. So if you guys did enjoy this episode of Rebuild, if you did, make sure you do go ahead and leave a like in the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.